What's up guys, Dumb and Dumber here. Today we have a different type of video for you. How about you explain, yes. Dumb? Yes, we do. So today, what we are going to be introducing in this video is a lot of new mobs and items that have just been released to Minecraft Java Edition. In the wild update. So in the new wild update. Welcome to the Dumb and Dumber presentation and let's get started. The first thing is you can obviously behind us we have a new biome which is the mangrove biome yes in this mangrove it's basically just a lot of trees like you would think but and there's also these cool roots and stuff and yeah it's cool and it's very cool yes and they have also added new wood which yes. as you can see in our i uh, on the platform i have added so that is mangrove. Mangrove yes. wood. There's mangrove fence and mangrove wood. And yeah, so I like will show reddish. you the mangrove door as well really quickly. All right, here it is. Very nice. Pretty Ooh, cool, not too much to look nice. at, but you know, yeah, fancy. All right, next. So yeah. you can also, as you can see from these lights, you haven't seen these lights before, but there are three shades and those lights aren't just, they didn't just make more lights, guys. Those are frog lights. Frog lights. Yes, and if you have and you guessed obviously it. figured out by now, there are now frogs in, in Minecraft. Minecraft. There it is. <laughs> All right, and I'm sure many questions are going through your head, how to tame it and how to mate it. Well, as you expected, you can't really tame a frog. So I'm sure you guys are wondering how to mate these frogs. So, this is actually very interesting. You use slime balls and you what? feed it to them. I know, weird, right? Interesting. So, Mojang has released this information. So, again, you feed frogs to get them into mating mode by feeding them with slime balls, which I'll show you a quick example. And then afterwards, we will get to our next mob. mob. And then we'll show you a few more items. Oh. Feeding them with slime balls. There you go, guys. They're mating. Do they spawn? Yes, and frogs? once. Yes, so I'll show you about that actually as well. Okay, so once. Come follow me down to the swamp. All right, done. Let's go. So once they are done, they will lay eggs. And they will look like this. Oh. Can I So after a while, they will hatch and become tadpoles. And we'll show oh, you the I'm... tadpole real quick. Show them the tadpole. Show them the tadpole. Tadpole. How long is it? All right, here it is, guys. Can't really see it. Oh, this is the tadpole. Oh, it's tiny. There, it, there is. it is. Oh, very cute. All right, guys. Here's our next mob, the alloy. Now, this mob was actually voted um, to be made by the fans, actually. Yes. There was it's a poll. Very... There was a poll and the alloy won. So here it is. There all it right. Is. So again, I'm sure you guys got many questions about this. So first of all, you can hand it stuff to make it follow you. Oh, look! So, now it has a slime ball. So just like you would tame, make a, let's just say a, some kind of animal, and it will follow you around. So will this. It will follow you around for a period of time and then eventually it will stop. So I know you guys are probably wondering a lot of things. First, where to find these? The places that you will find it can be found in two different areas. So first you can find them in dark oak cages in groups ranging between one and three individuals. So yes, they will be just just like similarly, similarly to um, when you will find Iron golems by pillager outposts. There will be, there will be also be. What is, how do you spell alleys? Alloys. 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 So, oh, so these will be at pillager outposts. Yes. Yeah, so they can, they will be located in cages around, like in the general area of a pillager outpost, and also just in random locations in dark oak cages. I'm sure you guys are wondering how to tame these next. So, unfortunately. Mojang has not yet confirmed if the alloy is can be tameable, like a cat or a wolf, or if we'll simply just follow the player while holding an item or s assigned to specific note blocks. So, 
But we do know how allies can alloys can become very friendly with players, but Mojang has not released yet if they can be officially tamed. So yeah, that is our next little friend. Very cool. And now we're gonna show you a mob that's not gonna be our friend. No. This is definitely our next crazy mob. Alright guys, our next mob is the warden. Look at this monster. Yikes! This is de um, debatably the most powerful mob in Minecraft, not including the Wither and the Ender Dragon. Yes, this thing is terrifying. So no. I'm sure you guys are also wondering a lot of things about this. Where do you find these? So, this is actually pretty crazy. Where you find these wardens is in... They actually are in deep caves, as you expected. Yeah. Um, but they actually have their own living spaces called Warden's Cabins. Interesting. Which players can find a lot more rare materials. However, it also means a warden is nearby. Yes. So, if yes, you... they do have their own little living spaces and caves. And if you are this... wondering, yes, this is a hostile mob. If it sees you, it will attack you on sight. Yes, it's very scary. And I'm sure you're wondering, it has no eyes. You are right. This is Minecraft's first blind mob. Yes, it cannot see you. But it has acquired a very, very sharp hearing. So the way you defeat this mob is you have to be very quiet crouching when you're trying to sneak around this mob because it can hear your footsteps. So in order to kill it, you should bring throwable items like snowballs so you can distract it and then sneakily crouch up and attack it. Interesting. Yes. I know, it's very scary and very powerful. And actually, in a few seconds, we are going to just show you how powerful it is. Against um, Iron Golems. Before we get into the mob arena, let's show them what this thing drops and what it does. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is very interesting. So this is what the Warden drops. It is called a Skull... Skull... Ca Catal Skull Catalyst. Cat catalyst. Skull Catalyst. Something like that. And it's actually very interesting what it does. And Gummer here is going to demonstrate right, right now. So we have a creeper. And I'm going to kill this creeper right next to the uh, um, the Skull Catalyst. Look. At that. Look. Did so you see that? So what it does is it is a block that generates Skull features around it when a mob that drops experience is killed nearby. So, so any mob that draws experience, that stuff will form and spread. So basically, what um, what we think is the purpose is if um, it, you could spawn it and then mobs that will naturally die like in the sunlight, like zombies or skeletons, this will mark where XP of from them can be found. I'm not sure I would want one myself just because it's a it's, little creepy. That's a little creepy and it's a little look at that. It's a little nasty looking too. All right guys, here we are at the mob arena and to start you out, we're just going to show you one iron golem versus oops, a uh, a ward. It is quite terrifying why we're you. Here's an iron golem. All right, golem. here it is. These guys are powerful by the way. You ready? Let's do it. So it's look at this. No Destroyed. match. Here's two versus the same one. There's one. No match. No match for the one. Guys, it took me over like three minutes to kill this with the strongest Minecraft sword there is. This is a it, very powerful mob. How about yes. we get a new warden in here and try it with five golems? All right, guys, All right. here we go. Let's see if it's any match. There's one dead already. Look at it go. This thing scares me so much. Oh my goodness gracious. Down to one already. 
defeats all five iron golems. No match. All right, that well, just this goes just goes to show, to show how, how powerful it is. Next item is called the recovery compass. This is a very interesting and actually very helpful item. Dom, why don't you tell yes. them what it does? All right, so a recovery compass is very simple. It is an item used to point the direct location of the player's last death. So if you, you're probably wondering, or you might be wondering, why is that helpful? Well, if you die and you have diamonds in your diamond sword or netherite stuff, this thing will guide you right to where that is. All right, guys, so I'm sure you're wondering how to make this compass. So we'll use a new item called an echo shard, which is an item found in ancient cities, which can be used to craft a recovery compass. So yep, as that's... you probably guessed, this will be very hard to find. Oh yeah. All right, how about we try another item? A goat horn. I don't oh, know yes. if you can hear this, but. Oh, I could hear it here. Let me show you on mine so I can show you how loud this is when I blow it myself. All right, listen to this, guys. Very loud. It's so very interesting. It's just, I know, it's very odd. It's just, I guess, basically just a goat horn. You I guessed mean, it, so I'm guessing you can retrieve these items from killing goats. Yep, and not they're probably too much uh, complicated about to that. To show here. This is actually a very terrifying item our next one it's called a skulk shrieker. what is it like a sh shrieker. shrieker very is very a literal redstone yes it is a redstone block found in the deep dark biome that surrounds a ward that summons a warden when a player is detected nearby interesting yes so, so guys you, you do not thing. want to find these things Very, yes. very weird. It's like eco, what is it called? Echo location. Yes, very. It's very terrifying, and you do not want to find one of these bad yeah, boys. If you see one of these, then I would say you book it. One thing we forgot to mention while filming this video is that Minecraft also added boats with chests on them. While you're on the boat, you can press open your inventory, and you will be able to store things inside the boat. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. We just thought this would be a very cool and fun new way to inform you about these new mobs and items that have just been released to Minecraft Mojang. Yup. So please remember to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And look for us next week. Yup. Next week we have something very exciting happening. Please tell them, dumb. All right, next week, we are starting our Let's Play series. Woohoo! Yeah. yeah, so make sure to stick around. We got really excited to start the series when all of these new mobs and items started. So we were like, we just can't wait any longer. Guys, don't get us wrong. Just because we are starting a Let's Play, it is not going to be replacing all of our videos. We are still going to do Bed Wars and get Murder Mystery and other stuff like that in addition to our Let's Play. Look forward to all of that next week, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye! See you next time! Bye! Oh, no. Not this again. Done. Goodness gracious. I think that's enough. Oops. Seriously. Sorry. Don't break anything else. Oops. <laughs> Respawn that. <laughs> okay, can color. Just spawn the different color. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, Alright, let's restart that, bro. The you last can't spawn that. Die, frog. Thank you. Okay. See? Can fall to your oh. Okay. Now let me get a netherite sword to kill these frogs with. <laughs> Die, scum! Alright. Okay, here it is.